When we launched the boats back in October in New Zealand, it became very apparent that the hardware and software that was in the boat wasn't going to be good enough. So they took them to the UK to the Artemis Technology Simulator and Luke Parkinson and Nick Hutton went up there um, with Jonathan who's in charge of the whole control systems group. So they got rid of the joystick, they've put in now this double twist grip device with a bunch of buttons, kind of like a PlayStation or Xbox controller. This is our new flight controller human interface. Many more functions and a lot more controllability of flying the boat. So these big twisty things you can see here, this is now controlling the daggerboard. We can control both daggerboards at the same time when they're both in the water. We can control the roll of the or the differential of the rudders. And then on top of that we've got the average rudder lift on two buttons. So there's plenty going on right here. Really it's the flight controllers have all been working together to find this common solution and they've absolutely nailed it. Stu's basically flying the boat all the time. So he spins the wheel, like less lift and more lift. So the whole time he's literally there, like flying, looking at the bow, just flying little adjustments, little adjustments. So the big debate at the moment is, do you fly the boat in a straight line from this position or does your helmsman still fly the boat? Everyone's trying to get the secrets out of all the teams, see who's doing what. And the Aussies have committed hard to the flight controller and then the Japanese are also using it a reasonable amount of the time. And I think that the other three teams, the Chinese, the French and the Americans are still using the helm. So it'll be interesting if there's a split as to how the fleet get on here and who's sort of chosen the right direction. It's been very noticeable, the change. Most people are foil jibing every time. Foiling tacks are becoming more and more common now. For me, sailing the boat, it's starting to feel like it's reaching its potential.